ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ केरला श्री पिनराय विजयन जी ऑनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर पोर्ट्स शिपिंग एंड वाटरवेज श्री सोनोवाल जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ केरला ऑनरेबल मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड लोकल बॉडीज रिस्पेक्टेड चीफ सेक्रेटरी एंड ऑफिसर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ केरला अदर डिस्टिंग्विश गेस्ट मेंबर्स ऑफ द मीडिया टुडे इज अ हिस्टोरिक डे टुडे इज द डे दैट मार्क्स द एंड ऑफ अ वेरी लॉन्ग वेट टुडे इज द डे वेन अ थर्टी थ्री ईयर ओल्ड ड्रीम हैज फाइनली कम ट्रू फॉर विडिंजम फॉर केरला एंड फॉर इंडिया एंड ऑल्सो टुडे इज अ डे वेर वी फुलफिल आर प्रोमिस ऑफ डिलीवरिंग अ वर्ल्ड क्लास स्पोर्ट टू द स्टेट ऑफ केरला एंड आर प्रोमिस to honorable chief minister of commissioning this port in time the mother ship the san fernando now lying in our harbor is a symbol of a new glorious achievement in indian maritime history it is a messenger that will tell the world that india's first automated container transshipment port and largest deep water port has begun commercial operations in 1991 when this port project was first announced virinjam was just another village with ordinary prospects at that time no one could have imagined that it would become a world class port and let me tell you in all humility this port is going to be one of the world's top destination for global container shipping The 300 meter long San Fernando, operated by Musk, one of the world's leaders in shipping and logistics, is the first commercial container cargo vessel to call at this port. And we can all be confident that this ship is just the first of many thousands of very large container ships that will berth in this port in the years ahead. Since October 2023, when we gathered here. to welcome the first project ship of vidinja seven such cargo ships have called at this port and each one of them was a test of our capabilities they were the ships that brought in heavy machineries that you see that you now see installed in the port these are not ordinary machines they represent the world's most advanced port system and technologies we have installed 8 ship to shore cranes and 23 cantilevered rail mounted gantry cranes the cantilevered rail mounted gantry cranes are fully automated and the ship to shore cranes are semi automated and remote remotely operated no other port including our own highly advanced mundra port has these cranes or these technologies In fact what we have already installed here is South Asia's most advanced container handling technology and once we complete the automation and the vessel traffic management system Vidinjam will be in a class of its own as one of the most technologically sophisticated transshipment port in the world I am delighted that every aspect that we had planned for is coming together and we are privileged to have been given this opportunity to use our expertise to transform this part of india in line with the maritime amrit kal 2047 our honorable prime minister's vision for the for the maritime sector speaking at the global maritime summit 2023 prime minister narendra modi ji had highlighted India's plan to make the blue economy a key medium for creating a green planet. He underscored the government's drive to develop next generation mega port and Virinjam is a perfect example of his triple focus. Ports for prosperity, ports for progress and ports for productivity. What we have managed to achieve so far 
would not have been possible without the incredible all-round support we have received. I extend my deep gratitude on behalf of the Adani Group and on my own behalf to you, Honorable Chief Minister Shri Pinarai Vijayanji, for guiding us through the most difficult part of this project and its execution on the ground. I would also like to thank Honorable Union Minister Shri Sonowalji for providing generous and continuous support, as well as helping us uh, supporting in the VGF grant at the center. We are also immensely thankful to the state and central government, to the warm and welcoming people of Virinjam and Tiruvantapuram, to Sri Shashi Tharurji, Honorable Member of the Parliament for Tiruvantapuram, to the late Sri Oman Chandiji, to my Adani colleagues who put their heart and soul into this project, and also to the many leaders present here who put aside all their political differences to see Kerala's dream come true. Although we are expected to complete phase one in December this year, I am delighted to announce that we will complete the first phase much before that. We already have 600 meters of operational quail and we are preparing 7,500 container yard slots to accept cargo. While we are expected to handle 1 million TUs per annum in phase one, we are extremely confident that we will handle 1.5 million TUs, 50% more. By 2028-29, by, by 2028-29, when all four phases of this project are completed, Adani Virinjam port will have invested a total of 20,000 crore rupees in this outstanding example of a large-scale PPP project. The public hearing for the port's master plan has just been successfully completed, and I am extremely humbled by the overwhelming support from the people of Virinjam that we received during the public hearing. I am delighted to announce that as soon as we receive the environment clearance and other regulatory approvals, the Adani Group will begin work immediately on the port's remaining phases. And I'm very confident that this could begin as early as October of this year. We have already created over 2,000 direct and indirect jobs during construction and operation. And now, with these wide-ranging developments, we will create more than 5,500 additional direct and indirect employment opportunities right here in Vidinja. Through the Adani Skill Development Center, we will equip thousands of young women and men with advanced specialized skills relevant to the maritime sector. And these high-level vocational skills will make them highly sought after, both in India and abroad. I thank each one, each and every one of you who had worked extremely hard to make this international dream come true here in Vidinja. When we took on this project, our chairman, Sri Gautam Adani, promised to make Virinjam India's port of the future. And I'm extremely proud to say that we have fulfilled this promise today. Nani Namaskaram, Jai Hind.